In this video, actually I'm going to show you how to configure and install GitLab on our own server. In this way, we can create our own GitLab server. And also, I will show you another demo part at the end of this video that how to create a repository and how we can push our source code into our GitLab server. By end of this video, you will get a clear picture of how to build our own GitLab server. So guys, don't skip the video and watch till the end. Here this is my server. I have taken this from AWS. So before installing and configuring GitLab, first we have to update our server repositories. So you can use this command sudo apt update. Once it finished, we have to install some dependencies for GitLab server. Our repositories are updated. And also I will ping all these commands in description box. So you can easily grab from there. So next we can use apt install. We have to install some dependencies like so CA certificates. Next we need open SSH server. Also we have to install postfix for that. Let's use right postfix. Most likely you already have some of this software installed on your server. So you can skip some of these options. Like if you have open SSH server, you can skip this option. So next let's execute this one. And one more thing to install postfix, select an internet site when prompted. Let's hit enter. Yes. From here we have to select internet site. And here we can configure if you have any domain for your GitLab server, you can configure here. In my case, I'm just leave it as by installing these dependencies, you can next install GitLab. So let's wait to finish this process. Once the dependency is installed, next let's go with GitLab installation. The GitLab installation process actually uses an installation script to configure our system using GitLab repositories, something like that. So let's wait a few seconds to finish this dependencies installation. Yes, our dependencies are installed successfully. I'm just clearing the screen and next let's move to our temp directory. From here we can download the installation script for GitLab by using curl command. Let's download the installation script first. So I will share all these link and commands in description box. You can grab from there easily. And I also mentioned the installation process uses an script so this is our script script.dub.sh so let's execute this command once it finished i will show you here you can see the script.sh and also feel free to review the downloaded script to make sure that you are satisfied with the those contents for that i will show you the contents there slash temp our script script.dub.sh so these are the contents you can review from there and if you are satisfied with these options you can go with that i will show you ls hyphen ll you can see the script.sh don't have execute permission so next we have to give the execute permission for the user for that ch mod mention our script now we have to run the script for that we can easily run by following this command so let's 
wait a few minutes to finish this one yes repository is set up you can now install packages once this is completed you will be able to install the gitlab application itself for that let's use this command apt install gitlab ce we can easily install the gitlab server by using this command so here we are installing gitlab ce that means community edition so let's go with that it will take a few minutes now we have successfully installed the gitlab application here you can see the gitlab so next we have to configure the gitlab on our server but before configuring gitlab you need to make sure that your firewall rules allows the web traffic like http and https also open ssh so in my case i'm using aws instance so i have to configure the security group so in case if you are using the local Uh, desktop or laptop or your operating system you can just like this by using ufw firewall ufw status here you can also allow the http and https traffics for that ufw allow http also https and next open ssh so next update the configuration file and run the reconfiguration command after that next by using vi or nano as your preference you can select any file editor and under slash ctc we have a gitlab directory and under that we have a configuration file gitlab.rb this is gitlab configuration file so from here we have to find the external url for that is yes, we can search the pattern external so we can easily find that yes here, here you can see external url here we have to change the external url so you can update it to match your domain name or something like server ip In my case I specify the IP address of my server so let's remove this one and I am and I am pasting my server IP address and also make sure to change the http to https Next we can configure the SSL part for that I am using here by default let's encrypt so let's search the pattern so here you can see the let's encrypt integration and configuration sections if you want you can configure any email address here so i am just giving here my email address and next save the file and exit from here once update the file we have to follow the reconfigure command for that gitlab ctl reconfigure Yes our gitlab reconfigure is finished once it finished gitlab 
generates an initial secured password for first login attempt so let's grab the password first for that i'm just clearing the screen and let's visit this path slash etc under gitlab directory we have a file name like initial root password so here gitlab generates an password so let's grab this password from here and let's exit from this file once you copy the password you can visit the domain name or your corresponding server ip on any web server so first i have to configure the http and https on my server security group for that i'm just editing my inbound rules and i'm adding the http and https also i have to add https now i have opened the port http and https next i can visit my domain name or corresponding ip address for my browser so let's go with advanced and proceed with this here we can give the username like root and here we have to paste our initial root password paste that here yes now we have successfully logged into the gitlab server this is our own gitlab server which we have just configured and installed so here you can see every option so you can explore all the functions and all the options in gitlab next one is once we log into our gitlab application the one of the first things you should do after login to change the password first so for that let's click on our profile edit profile and here you can select the password option and here we have to paste our current password and here we can change our password and give a new password for that and retype the password for confirmation and save the password and we will kick out from gitlab and we have to log in again with the new password next i will show you how to create a repository and how we can push our code into that repository for that here i have a, another server here i'm going to create a new directory like gitlab something and cd gitlab for our demo purpose i'm going to create a html file here and i will push that code into our gitlab server so i will show you how you can do like that but i'm going to create a file like index.html next i'm going to edit this file and going to do some contents inside the file for that i'm using visual studio and just let's add some html content here the title name is let's gitlab and we can add some body parts i'm adding two tags here just like h1 and here i'm passing this name and let's add one more tag here h2 just like welcome all and i'm going to copy this code from here 
and let's paste under our file index.html let's save this file so our file have some content inside that just verify that yes we have some html codes there so i'm going to push that into our gitlab repository i'm going to create a repository in our gitlab server for that here you can see create a project just click that and create a blank project here we can give any name like gitlab project from here you can choose the username by default it has root so i chose root as the username and here you can see the different visibility levels i chose the private and let's untick the readme file now and create the project once we create the repository and after that we have to configure the username and user email address on our server for that let's copy that from there and paste here also we have to configure the email address grab from here and just paste here here is our file and we can initialize our git repository and I'm going to add this file next let's check the git status now we can commit this one with a message first one Just check the git status again. Sorry, git status. Our working tree is clean now. And next, we have to add the remote server. For that, here you can see different options. So you can choose the push and existing git repository. For that, let's grab this command remote add. So we have to next add a remote to our server. I'm going to paste that command here. Now we have successfully added a remote in the name of origin. So origin is our remote server name. And next we can push all into the repository and grab the command from there and let's paste here. Just hit handler and it asking the username. So in case our gitlab username is root so i'm giving that and let's give the password now you can see the branch master set up to track remote branch and once it finished let's verify that so here gitlab project this is our repository from here you will see our index.html file is successfully pushed into the repository so in this way we can easily push our source code or something into our git repository so in this video actually we learned how to install and configure our own gitlab server and also we have learned how to push our source code into our gitlab repository so i hope this video will be helpful for absolute beginners and also if you like this video please do subscribe and also like this video